Well, here's something incredibly rare for the next big thing, because normally it's myself and Jim taking turn about introducing the band, so we very rarely get to stand together. It's nice to be beside Jim Galloway, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I've actually, actually just seen a, 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 a sort of justification as to why bands should maybe sometimes come back and play uh, the next big thing. Not once, not twice, but but three times, because I've just seen Black Arrows. And I've never been totally 100% convinced. I was like, they were a wee bit pub rocky, oasisy, shouty. But there were at least four songs there that I thought, wow, well, that's a potential hit single. Yeah. And I was totally blown away. And that's sort of a year on from them playing the very first next big thing at the Barrel Land. I was well impressed. And it's certainly in the last year, everything's changed at the next big thing. We've got big screens with photos of the bands and their names up and all this sort of stuff we're doing the, the sort of videoing stuff you must be loving what is like watching a, some of this gig together. it's like a proper gig <laughs> no but it's, it's, it's nothing it's, like a proper gig it's true because it's I think it's such a such a good vibe and it's a brilliant opportunity for these bands to play in front of a large audience I just wish the um, when bands own fans come along it was almost like um, herds of sheep um, when their mates band comes on they go to the front and then it's a ne- the next lot move to the front and I just wish everybody would just uh, open their ears a bit more and try and appreciate all the great music that's going around I'm sure there'll be a lot of people here tonight for example who've discovered other bands through going to see their mates band or whatever and I think, I think that's the, uh, another great reason for doing an event like this that's the payoff. Uh, certainly, some interesting bands playing tonight, and I know you would love to talk about them all for loads. But I'm going to limit you to a maximum of five words on all of them. So, Rocket Fox. There were a lot of them. <laughs> the Vox Populi. Um, Happy Mondays fronted by Johnny Rotten. Oh, that's that is five words. That's good. The cartoons raised me. Um, M counts. That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, the cartoons raised me. Goodness me. Um, oh yes, Motherwell Band, yeah. Um, Motherwell Band really rocked. And I have to say, best introduction of the night, because you actually said, on stage, I don't know you won't know this, but you went, the cartoons raised me! <laughs> and pointed at the ceiling. It, Did I? It was a great moment. Really? Yeah. Good times. Wow. The Merchants. Uh, the Merchants, um, I'm glad the wee singer chap wasn't wearing his golfing gear this time. <laughs> he was just dressed in black. I think he looked dreadful last time. And I thought, no, no, he looks like a double glazing salesman on a golf <laughs> golf trip. But he, 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 he looked a bit sort of New York cool with his bleached hair and his shades tonight. And he's all dressed in black. That's more than five words, but That's, we'll let yeah. that go. Uh, Canary Warfare? Canary Warfare. I only got the joke at the last minute. Airy Wharf. <laughs> Air. <laughs> hey. Fantastic. Um, Sol Diablos, always a favourite. I thought they were good, and it was funny seeing the footage on the screen of um, a previous Sol Diablos. His beard! Oh, it's nice. It's, it's massive. It's like, he's like Santa. Well, here he is. Oh, oh look at that. Talking about timing. Here is the beard we're talking about. Whoa. What are you going to do when it's gone, man? It's oh. going to be like that child that never we're made gonna it. We're going to sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> You need to dye it like Roy Wooden Wizards. Well, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm dying it white for Christmas Day. Give us an next Christmas That's just into the camera. It's Christmas. I didn't say do it. Oh, as Satan. Oh, <laughs> that was meant to be doing it like kind of like a slade kind of way. <laughs> um, so just, just finish up with Jim. Um, you're standing in front of the list I know, of bands. I was, I, was, I, was, I was wondering how you got. I was wondering how slip, you managed to get them in order. The tenements. The tenements can't spell. <laughs> they were. I, I thought if they were like uh, 16, 17 year old kids, it would be like a, a, a hugely exciting project. They're a bit older, but I really enjoyed the songs and thought it was a really good vibe going on. You're on stage, so we're going to let you on introduce the last band of the night. You're just about to be dragged out, Jim. Oh, am I? Thanks for joining us. Um, not talked about right, De Capo, very quickly. Uh, De Capo, the guy insisted it's Da Capo, not De Capo. Black Arrows? Black Arrows, as I said earlier, amazing. And I'm just going to go and see four day weekend. Do you want see you later. See you later on. Bye. Thank you.